In today's Lotus Lab, we're going to be talking about patience in Valorant and CS. Yo, welcome to the next Lotus Lab. I'm wondering about something because yesterday I had a huge argument on Twitter with a lot of people uh, because I posted a clip uh, when tried convincing my team in rank to not push in post plan. It was a 4v1. And I'm wondering if the same is happening in CS, if the same is happening in other games that are tactical at PS. Because in Valorant, it's so crucial to not push and not give your opponent a win condition when they lack it, right? So imagine this. Let's say it's a 1v4 in retake. You are the defender who is now facing four opponents on site. The only way of you winning that, that round is by your opponents playing awfully bad and just pushing you one by one and giving you free francs. So why on earth... Would you do this as an attacker? Why your mind tells you, oh, I'm just going to push this for the kill because it's a 4v1, it should be an easy kill, right? The game revolves around patience and getting kills when someone peeks into your cross placement, right? That's what the game revolves around. And it's the same for CS, it's the same for Valorant. The same mistakes will cost you rounds. So I would like to get to know, what is your opinion about that? Is that something that you think is happening often in the game? Or not. But before we go into the further topic of this, I would like to have a short sponsored segment. So some time ago I was promoting a Orbit All-Stars event in Poland, and that was a League of Leg Legends event, and now an after movie is available uh, to watch. And I would like you to, you know, click on the link in the description, but also I will share a few seconds of it right now. It's actually a very high quality after movie, so I hope you guys are gonna enjoy it. Again, link in the description. Uh, feel free to let them that you're coming from me uh, in, the, in the comment. And now, back to the topic. So, I would like this video to be more of a mindset exercise than anything, but whenever you go into ranked and you go into a post plant, I would like you to ask yourself, did I play safe this round? Did I play correctly? Did I not push? Did they try to win for my win condition, right? And the win condition, remember, as an attacker, when you plant the spike, you are... The, the way that you win this round is by running down the clock. If the spike explodes, you win. But if you run to your opponents, you decrease the timer. Because your opponent has to spend less time killing you because you deliver the package to him instead of the other way around, right? So, think about it. Whenever you play ranked, whenever you're attacking, whenever you go into post plant, you don't have to be aggressive at some point because your roles swap, right? Think about it this way. When you are attacking the site as an attacker, your role is to get the space. But once you go into the site and you planted the spike, now you're the defender. And now your job is to play patient and not overpeak, because that's how you should play it on defense, right? So think about it this way. Think about changing the role the moment the spike is being planted and your team has an advantage or is in equal players alive, right? If it's a 4v4, 5v5, 3v3, 2v2, 1v1, you don't have to be aggressive. You can just run down the clock. When you have this advantage, though, that's where you should swap your mindset and be more aggro. Because when the attackers go into site, they planted the spike, but it's a 2v3 or a 3v4, then it's harder for you to hold the site because your opponents have numbers advantage. So you would like to be a little bit more aggressive, take the space, maybe equalize, and then fall back because now you are in an advantageous situation when it's a 3v2, 3v3 or a 3v2, for example. So... Try to implement this into your own gameplay. Try to be the player that understands the win condition. When you are in post plant and you have an advantage when it comes to players, so it's either equal or you have more players alive, be patient, be safe. But when you are at a disadvantage and it's a 
2v3, 3v4, and so on, you want to be aggressive till you equalize that score, and then you can fall back to the defensive way of playing the post plant. I hope you guys learned something, and if you have experience with CS lately, share it, share it with me if the same problems are encountering there in CS. Bye-bye!